Hey, this is Wesley from AerialMediaPros.com, and today we got our hands on the brand new Hero 4 from GoPro. I'm pleased to tell you that indeed the camera does fit on the Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal for the Phantom 2 with some optional modifications. Now we're so excited about this new release as we've had the opportunity to play around with it on and off our copters. And let me tell you, this camera is going to yet again change the landscape of aerial filming and photography, allowing everyone and their mom to now shoot in cinematic 4K. So let's cover some of the basics. You now get your 4K resolution, as I said, at 30 frames. The previous 3 Plus model could only handle 15 frames, which was practically unusable for aerial shots. Then you have your choice of 2.7K at 50 frames, and then 1080p at 120 frames. For those of you shooting action sports, that's gonna take your previous 60 and make it even that much smoother. For the photographers, they decided to stick with the 12 megapixel with a 30 frame burst, same as the previous, but as we all know, no one's complaining about those results. Now the great advantage of this camera is its ability to shoot in low light environments, especially if you're flying near sunset or at nighttime. It has an auto low light setting that will allow you to change from darker environments to lighter environments with much more of a seamless change in shutter speed. But more than anything, we're just glad that the Hero 4 does fit on the H3 3D gimbal, so we don't have to wait for DJI to come out with a new gimbal just for this product. But because it fits, I wanna show you what it looks like to put it on the H3 3D. All right, so we got your Pro Pack here, complete with the Futaba and the FPV system. First things first, you wanna be really careful and flip your Phantom 2 around on its backside. Anytime you work with the gimbal, you wanna have it on, on its back so that you can access um, the screws and mounts easily. And like I said, GoPro's out of the case. You're gonna to wanna to take off this cover here because once it is mounted, it does have a hard time uh, being removed from the camera. Set that to the side. Now remember, the Phantom is turned upside down, so as usual, you need to make sure the GoPro fits in like this. Just slide it in there. And there you go. The Hero 4 in the H3 3D gimbal fits like a charm. We're gonna take that bracket just like your 3 plus black, same process, you just, there's no modifications here. All right, so the bracket's nice and snug. The GoPro's on there. As you can see, it's actually very well balanced. Some people do have an issue with the balance and you don't want it to be unbalanced because it's going to burn up your motors as they try to keep the camera stable. So what you can do to fix that, we haven't done that here because in our case, this specific copter with the gimbal and the camera is actually quite balanced. But what you can do is take some outdoor mounting tape, is what this is, it's double sided. And depending on the weight difference, most people will prefer a penny, but if you have a thick mounting tape like this, you're gonna only need a dime You stick that on there as such, and you actually just quickly cut around the edge. So you get a nice clean line around the coin. And so what the issue is, is most people are finding that this new camera is actually a little bit heavier than the Hero 3. What you can do here is you just take off the other side. Let's see here. There we go. Make sure it's nice and stuck onto the coin. And you have your gimbal here. And what people have suggested is actually putting it on the, this end to offset the weight of the gimbal. And you can see how it actually fits rather nicely on that edge. And now, in our case, it's gonna make this gimbal heavier and off balance, so we don't actually need to do that. If you find that your camera is unbalanced, um, we recommend a process such as this to fix it. So I'm actually gonna take that off 
for the rest of the tutorial so that we don't run into any problems. Next thing you'll see is that on this inner side, there's a setting button. They've moved the setting button to the side so that um, you can have quick access to the settings. However, the gimbal H33D is actually, it overlaps that button a little bit and sometimes can push it down if the camera is mounted too snug there. And so what you actually can do um, is, I'll show you an example. We haven't done this um, because what happens is your warranty will automatically be void once you start messing around with the gimbal. And obviously this gimbal is designed for a specific weight for the specific camera and you don't want to mess with that all the time. However, you can take a Dremel with a tool such as this. Um, most likely it should be metal um, because you're going to be cutting the metal parts of the gimbal and actually shave away just that portion that's covering up the button so that it's not accidentally pressed down. And those are really the only two modifications. So there's your offset weight with um, some sort of coin or something like that, or you can shave so that the setting button is usable and more accessible. But what we're gonna do is next, just like previous models, you have your connector for the video input. Be very careful when you install this because these parts are very fragile. I'm gonna spin it around so you can see it here. Go ahead and connect that facing the camera so that it can plug in easily. And then, because your cover is already taken off, you can just plug it straight in to the camera. And that right there is the Hero 4 on the H3 3D gimbal. We're gonna turn it around really quick just to check the balance. And as you can see, if anything, the balance is actually moving in more of the motor direction. And so we haven't found the same problem that others have found. But if you do have a balancing issue, then please um, do add the pennies, do add the dimes, or whatever you need to do to make sure that it is balanced and you're not burning up your motors. And now for the real test. It's to see whether we can get a video signal from the GoPro onto our FPV monitor. So I'm going to take my radio here. Make sure it's turned on. Turn this so you can see it. Make sure after you turn your copter on that the GoPro is also on or else you won't get a video signal. So I'm going to wait for it to load up here, balance itself. But as you can see right away, we do have control. Um, we can turn the camera up and down. Gimbal works just fine. Don't hear any noises from the motors. They're not burning up in any way. Turn on the GoPro. Let's set up just right. Okay. So, turn on my monitor here. Let's see what we get. Just like normal, we get our video signal loud and clear from the GoPro. It's controllable. Look at that. So there you go, the Hero 4 on the H3 3D gimbal. We get the video signal, it fits, it works. We're so excited about what this camera is going to be able to do. If you're looking for a copter, please visit us at aerialmediapros.com. And if you like this video, please like it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.